Hey guys, so this right here is just a very short video of how we use Scan Unlimited to go through price lists. I'm pretty much going to show you how we get a price list from supplier, suppliers and how we put that into Scan Unlimited to find products automatically. So let's get started. So if you look here, this is the Scan Unlimited dashboard. It really is quite simple. To put a new list in, all you do is you click on the new scan section and then you upload your price list. However, before we go straight into it, what we want to do is make sure our price list is in the correct format. So we have this price list here, which is from one of our suppliers. However, they are based in Poland. As you can see, the price is in Polish currency and also euros. However, when it comes to the scanning software, it's a lot easier to put it into the currency of the marketplace you're selling. So for example, if you're selling in the German marketplace, it'd make more sense to put it in euros. If you're selling in the British, UK marketplace in Great British Pounds, if you're selling in the US marketplace to do it in dollars. So I'm going to convert this over to Great British Pounds. So if I do EUR to GBP, 0.89 right now. And then all of those will fill. So these are all in pounds now. And what I'm going to do is now download this document. And now we're ready to upload it. And now that we have put it into Scan Unlimited, what we can see here is all of the different columns that we had in this list. So what I'm going to start by doing is you start here. So this is asking, what do you want to search by? So when Scan Unlimited is going through these, all of these products, what is it do you want to search by? You can either search by the title, the UPC, EAN, ASIN, ISBN or keyword. Ideally, you're going to want to search by the EAN or one of these. EAN is a barcode and that's the same for the UPC. However, that is for the US marketplace. So I'm just going to click EAN and product ID column. That's basically saying which column is this? Which column is the barcode? So the column that I am going to be looking for is the EAN column and I'll be searching for the EAN. The marketplace that I'm looking at is the UK marketplace. The cost. So if you remember what we just done, we converted the euros to GBP. And so we have the GBP here and it's saying the currency is British sterling. You can do it in pretty much every other currency. However, for us, it just makes it a lot easier knowing how much profit we're going to make in pounds. Custom columns, if there's any other columns we wanted to add, then we would add those. Sometimes products have barcodes, but they also have product codes that are specific to the supplier. However, in this case, we are just going to search by the EAN and have that. VAT registered. If your business is VAT registered, then you more than likely are going to have to do this. So what it's saying here is, are we going to have to pick, how are we going to have to pay sales VAT? So if you are VAT registered, when you make a sale, you have to take out sales VAT in theory, and that is at 20%. And then here is VAT on the cost of goods. So this is always going to be zero if you're VAT registered. And the reason for that is because if you are VAT registered and you buy products from a supplier, then while you do pay the cost of the product, including VAT, you're able to claim that back. However, all of this doesn't matter because we're buying from Poland. We won't get charged any sales tax. We won't get charged any VAT. So what we can do now is click start and this will simply go through and find all of the products that, that it can find. And it takes just a little minute. And as you can see, that one just here is all done. Now, if I click into here, it will show me all of the products that Scan Unlimited has managed to find. So as you can see, these are the EANs of the products. These are the ASINs, the titles on Amazon, the cost, the price that it's selling for, the profit it makes, the ROI, the margin, the number of people that are selling. This one here is showing 
is Amazon on the listing. However, you need to use something to actually get this to show up, which I'm happy to go and go through in another video. This is the sales rank. It also has the average 30 day rank, average 90 day rank, average 180 day rank. Reviews, ratings, what category it's in, the dimensions of the product and the weight as well. The FBA fee, the referral fee, the closing variable fee, prep fee, shipping fee, discount, color, variation, variation present as well, and then the VAT. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm actually going to make this a lot easier to see. So I'm going to change some of the filters around. So if I go to here, it will bring up all the filters. And then as you can see, the eye is showing what I do want to see and what I don't want to see. So right now, what I don't really care to see is the 30 day average rank 90. The package quantity is actually very important because that's saying if, for example, it's a double pack, then I'm going to need to know that. Category isn't important, height, length, weight, all the dimensions, I don't really need those right now. The referral fee and the FBA fee, those are both vital. Closing fee is not important unless I, unless you do not actually have a professional seller account. Prep fee doesn't count, shipping cost, all of these other things for me, they are very much not important. So now that I have all of these, I'm going to actually set my requirements. So what I'm going to say, for example, is I want the profit to be greater than or equal to one. And it's going to bring up everything that meets that requirement. Additionally, I'm going to say that the sales rank has to be less than 100,000. That's 10,000, 100,000. And those are the two requirements that I'm going to use. When it comes to you, you need to use any requirements that you feel. So if you're going for higher profits, use higher profits. If you're going for a certain ROI, use that as well. If you're going for a certain margin, put that in. If you're going for below or above a certain average rank or a certain sales rank, then make sure you use that as well. So this is going to load now. And then as you can see, this has brought up all the products that make over a pound. And from, I think, 126 products, if I'm correct, it's brought up 22. And these are all the profits right here. From here now, I can simply extract that. I can extract all the filtered ones. And this will put it in an Excel file. And then I can upload it back to a Google Sheet or whatever you use. And we do this just because it makes it a lot easier to physically see on a screen that isn't the Scan Unlimited page. So when we put it back in here, it's just a lot easier to see and I can move columns around. I can see all the profits. I can see all the FBA fee, referral fees, the number of people that are on the listing, the quantity, the brand, the title, the sales rank. And what I'm going to do at this point is pretty much go through each product and just double check that it is the correct product. The way we do that is going, checking the ASIN, then checking the barcode product ID and making sure that they do actually match. And that is how you use Scan Unlimited. Hit us up for any questions that you have, like, comment, subscribe, ask us for whatever videos you want. We're more than happy to make them. See you guys later.